All right, so we're going to look at how to connect up uh, a Swift project. Currently, Swift is at Swift 4, and Xcode is at version 9. Uh, with uh, AWS, uh, specifically DynamoDB, the Dynamo databases. Uh, so you could use this for um, just a plethora of different things. Uh, one of the simplest things uh, might just even be tracking the number of people that are actually using your app. Uh, Apple kind of gives you that data. Um, you could also uh, set up a quick scoreboard, something like that, where you just basically, without even asking people for a username or login, you just uh, essentially uh, use the device's um, uh, ID for your particular app. So um, one thing developers can tap into is a, a basically a unique ID that's uh, unique to the developer and the app itself on a particular device. Uh, so it's a quick way to just kind of store stuff and then bring it fetch it back to that uh, particular user um so there's uh you know i don't i don't feel like i need to really explain why, why databases are useful but uh you know that's what we're going to be uh, poking around with today and if you guys are already familiar with aws uh, i tell you what you could probably skip the first uh video here um otherwise stay tuned because there is some kind of essential stuff like for example Go over here to aws.amazon.com, AWS. It stands for Amazon Web Services, and they're going to um, throw a whole bunch of options at you as soon as you sign into the console here. So uh, go ahead and you can probably just use your same Amazon account that you use for um, ordering all your stuff. And uh, once you sign into the console, you're going to be presented with a page that looks like this. So over here, all right, so AWS Services, there's a whole plethora of them. Look at all the stuff that they got going on for us developers. And um, it is a little <clears throat> kind of scary at first. Uh, I don't actually use anything more than, uh, well, recently this DynamoDB, but I do store stuff um, in the cloud, and uh, that's through the S3 services. Uh, what I've found with Amazon is... Um, you uh, you only really, yeah, here you go, manage your costs. It's over here on the right side. Uh, you really don't pay that much if you don't use that much, right? And even if you do use a lot, you really don't pay that much. It's it's very fair pricing. So don't, I, one thing I would not worry about is that, um, you know, your Dynamo database is going to cost you, you know, more than a couple bucks a month. It probably will not. Um, and, you know, the sad thing is, is most of us probably won't make apps that have, you know, a million users, okay? Uh, but I would say even if you did, it's still not gonna cost you that much. So anyway, um, we wanna be in the mobile hub, okay? So let me switch us over to there. And actually, uh, let's do this. Let me create another, oh, no, no, I don't wanna do that yet, sorry. Um, here we go. Okay, so um, this, this sh you should be seeing something similar to this. Um, actually, I guess I kind of, I'm presented with this because I've already created one database. So you might have just seen the page before. Uh, but I, I have gone and just hit uh, create project. And I'm going to just use this one over here. Uh, if you were to just do this again, I mean, not again for you, but for me, uh, enter a name for your mobile project. Okay, that's all I did. Okay, so then let's, I would end up right here. And uh, this, so now we're kind of uh, in a subsection in our mobile hub uh, tutorial on database. And uh, now we get to look at uh, this screen over here. Okay, so we're going to set up a NoSQL uh, database. One of the things that we're going to need to do, though, is do a little bit of in integration first with our uh, Xcode project. And I'm going to essentially be stepping you guys uh, through a page that I'm going to show you just so that you can step through it yourself as well. I'm going to do this mostly in the next video just so we kind of start from, from here. Um, for those of you that are kind of familiar with AWS. Okay, so uh, get to this page if you can, if you want to kind of follow along with what I'm doing. All right, so just kind of pause the video, take a look at that. And um, actually what I'll do is I'll kind of wrap this up with uh, creating the uh, Xcode project. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use a... Um, an iOS template. Uh, I'm going to use a game. Uh, you could use single view as well. It doesn't really matter for this particular code. It's all going to be the same. Um, games, I think, do just kind of go hand in hand with uh, databases potentially. Well, they, so does every project. But um, here we go. Testing DB. And I'm going to put this inside a subfolder uh, just on my desktop. So it doesn't really matter too much where it is. Okay. And this is where I'm going to leave you guys for the end of our initial setup video. So when we come back, we're just going to go and step through all this stuff and uh, connect up our uh, project with a database.